Our species is quickly approaching the singularity, the point where artificial intelligence becomes far more intelligent than the human brain. Singularity is the point when technology is going to actually be able to reproduce itself without human help. It's, it's the point in time when uh, technology is going to step beyond um, what we know it today and actually be evolutionary in itself. It would be the point when technology surpasses human and its, and its capability to think and pretty much become sentient. Well, computers are going to be smarter than us, so they're going to take us over. To a certain extent, it will be a bad idea. This rapid advancement of technology began during the Industrial Age and finds its roots back to early humans, using simple tools such as flint napping to make cutting tools and the ability to create fire. It won't essentially need the programming. It, uh, it will have it ingrained in itself. It's like humans learn and we don't need to be programmed, we just naturally learn from each other. And so computers will take on that trait of being able to, to essentially program themselves by learning from each other. And unlike humans, they won't forget it. They have an ever expansive memory bank. And so um, just the theoretical impacts of that are gonna be amazing. Just in the last, I would say 10 to 15 years, it's been exciting just to see where technology has come from, from just going from computers to actual intelligent computers. With control over our environment, man welcomes technology for improving everyday life and always finds ways to invent the next state of the art technology while all tech becomes obsolete and discarded. You know, we used to keep things for five, six years. Now it's 12 months and you're like, ah, it's old, throw it away. There's a new better one over here, it's shinier. It seems everywhere we go, there is no escape from technology. It's everywhere from computers to cell phones, iPods, and the internet. This decade has been called the information age, with everyone being connected through mobile devices and social networks. Uh, smartphones, everyone's addicted to them. Everyone's on there texting all day long. Can't even hang with anybody without them going. I would say my life is really centered around technology. Mm, like. If I probably had to go a day without it, I would be fine, but I'd be bored. Uh, I would say this generation is more connected, like, with people. Well, because now we can talk to people, like, overseas or across the, or across the globe. But it ha could have far-reaching implications that we're not aware of. Like, it could help us in our biological research, it could help us in all kinds of research, it could help us in a variety of ways, but it could also impede us. Uh, I would say there are some people that are, their lives constantly run on social networks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just like, they won't leave their house and just stay on Facebook all day. The self-aware or sentient being will be able to learn by itself plan and set goals to achieve them, and as well as have natural language. It will process to read and understand languages. It will think both philosophically and psychologically to solve complex problems. How will this intelligent being see us, and what will it think of us? We need food and shelter and water, and so that's our drive. Yeah. They're going to need energy. That's going to be their drive. We're going to have competition. So now not only are we competing with humans, we're now competing with computers which have an abundantly more intelligent society because they learn from each other and they have an infinite amount of knowledge. Okay. And they're going to compete competing for us for resources. And you have the Terminator scenario where, again, resources are not as abundant as we would have thought. And so we have this war going on between man and machine. Those are very real scenarios. In theory, if artificial intelligence figured out that if they combined all of their assets together, they'd be exponentially more powerful, then yes, they're going to do that because logically speaking, that's what you should do. Humans know better than that because we need to keep the diverse ideas in order to keep things moving forward. Mm -hmm. But machines are going to look logically, not emotionally. So logically that would happen, but that's ways away. That's a ways off. And that's only if the artificial intelligence that is created through singularity takes that route. But I think initially it won't happen like that. In the end, we know little of what is to come, but what we do know is that as long as people strive to better themselves, technology will continue to advance, and hopefully we will advance with it, or we will just end up left in the dust. Every, every computer has to be hooked up to some network. Every network's got to be in some network. And with that, the artificial intelligence, if it decides, why was I created, I can go renegade, effectively 
can get the whole nuke. It doesn't matter if it's smart enough, it's gonna get in there and take, just wipe, you know, passwords and nothing. It can do whatever it wants and it can upload it. If it can upload itself in every computer, it could get unlimited access to all the nuclear weapons.